Hey guys, Russ here with bishopswest.com. I wanted to talk today a little bit about adding kind of a, a little bit of a glitch effect to Bitwig Studio, just using the native devices that we have available to us. Um, I'm not expecting this to turn out as great as if I bought a custom VST built to add glitchiness or use something like the Thorn VST, which is a great instrument by the way. Um, but I wanted to see kind of just what we could do. So I've got a polysynth loaded up here default sound let's go ahead and start switching things up a little bit okay so that's all right okay so now that I've got my sound um, of course you would want to play with that a lot more than that, but some to start with. I'm going to add in a chain because I want to make this something that I can reuse in the future. And within the chain, remember you click in there to start adding things within the chain. Just like over here, if I wanted to add things within the, the polysynth, I could click on that effects. And those effects would apply only to the polysynth. But um, within the chain, I'm going to go ahead and add a tool which I can use just for the amplitude part of it. Um, maybe could play with the panning a little bit if I wanted to, but yeah, for right now, I'll just use the amplitude. I'm going to take that all the way down to the minimum, and I think within here is where I'm going to put all my modulators. So, first thing I'm going to add is an LFO. And I'm going to change the shape of that to that. Turn off the bipolar. And so all that's going to do is be, I'm going to use this to assign it and take this all the way up to back where it was, 36. So now when I play it, all right, you can hear it's just turning it off. Um, I'm going to make this a note trigger. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm just going to leave it like that. What I am going to do, though, is take the rate way up, because that's kind of slow for what I wanted to try. Okay, so that's kind of the minimum glitchiness that I want to do. And then what I'm going to do next is use a random tool to... Random. Random. kind of mess with that a little bit and take it up even a little bit higher. So maybe another 0.5. And the other thing I'm going to do with this oops, is make sure that that bipolar is off on there too, because I don't want to make it slower. I just want to keep it going faster. OK. So that's okay. The thing is, though, with the glitchiness, I don't want it to be in effect the whole time, um, only at certain points. And so what I can do is I'm going to take this so it's 100% make, 100% dry. Um, none of the effect is included. So back to our original sound. And I'm just going to use the steps thingy, also known as modulator. And I'm going to use that to modify the mix. Okay. Um, and then from there, kind of depends on how crazy you want it to go. But now if I play it like this, that's already pretty good. And of course you can change it seconds but then take it up. You, know, you can make it you can play with the timing a little bit there. The other thing though that I want to do is I don't want it to always start at this first step out of 16. Sometimes I want it to start at random points. And so 
this way, you can see it's kind of jumping around where it starts. But because I've got the loop here, it's looping all the way through. That way it sounds a little bit more random. It doesn't sound like it's always playing exactly the same glitch sequence. Um, this would be especially important if you've got this soloed and kind of playing a more prevalent part in your mix. So now that I've got that going, yeah, that sounds all right. Next thing I'm going to do, I think, is add the bit crusher. Let's see how this sounds. So I'm going to get rid of this for right now. Just because I want to hear what I'm doing to the with the bit crusher here. So You can see that the steps, this is still um, controlling how much of the mix we have. So I'm going to just for right now just get rid of that so I can hear the, the whole effect. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Okay, let's take this back down, get that active. So now, if I turn this back on, what we get is. So that's kind of fun. Um, the other thing that you could do maybe is instead of using the steps, just use another random modulator in here and uh, where are you? Use this to control how much of the mix you're, you're getting in there. Um, I still like the step thing just because it's not 100% the whole time. But if you wanted to have varying degrees of glitchiness sustained throughout the note, then you could definitely use this as well. But yeah, I think I like this step better. Okay, so just something for you guys to play around with. Um, I think you could probably also add kind of a low pass filter in there or a high pass filter or maybe both um, and just mess with those two at the same time as you're messing with the mix. Um, yeah, I think that would help too. So just something to play with. Hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you guys are able to save it or to, to use it in your music. Again, like I said, I wanted to save it as a chain so I'll probably Go ahead and, and save that, save preset to library and do all that like usual. Um, if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down in the comment section below. It's always fun to hear from you guys. And definitely give this a like if you liked it. If you learned something from it, that's great. Um, click subscribe if you want to see more videos from me in the future. And I've got a free guide for you guys to download. It's called Accelerate Your Music Making in Bitwig Studio. It's at bishopswest.com slash bitwig setup. Um, like I said, it's just a free download for you guys. Just enter your email and I'll send you a link to download it.
So that's it. That's all I have for today. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will talk to you next time.